And in Tippecanoe County, it's the Gilt and Barrow's turn to take the stage. Kristen Crowley introduces us now to some competing 4-H'ers. You can hear the squeals of excitement as 4-H'ers and Gilts and Barrows prepare for tonight's competition. Joining right now are a couple of 4-H'ers who are showing their pigs in tonight's competition. This is Lacey Hankins and Nicole Harris. Now, Lacey, tell me a little bit about what it takes to breed a champion pig. Well, when it comes to breeding a champion, um, you got to have good genetics and you got to know how to feed your pig. And it takes a lot of hard work from the 4-H'er to make it all happen. Have you ever had a grand champion before? No, I have not, but I keep working for it every day. And this is your eighth year. Now you got two more years to go. What are you hoping to come out from this year? Um, this year, I did have the grand champion litter, so I'm happy there. Um, I'm just hoping to place in the top five in my class today and continue to do that. Do you know what the judges are looking for in terms of a grand champion? They're looking for muscle, bone, structure, soundness. Um, a pig that can move and walk across the ring, that's what they're looking for today. And the other person joining us here now, Nicole Harris. Nicole, I've seen some of these pigs have gotten out of control here, running through, trying to escape or something. I don't know what they're trying to do. How hard is it to keep them in line? Well, right now it's really cool outside, which is amazing, but it makes them really hyper and frisky, so it's hard to control them. <laughs> and compared to last year, it must have been in the 90s last year compared to the 70s right now, so how different is that trying to show them in cooler weather? It's so much nicer for us. We don't have to, like, sweat while we're in the ring, but I think I prefer this better. <laughs> and now you're in your eighth year as well. you got two more years left. Have you ever run grand champion before? My brother won last year, so that was kind of a family effort there. And I'm in the night show tonight, but with a reserve. Well, we're going to wish you all both very good luck, Lacey and Nicole. Hopefully everything works out for you guys. And again, the Gilt and Barrow competition starts tonight at 8 o'clock at the fairground. So if you're around, you should come out and check it out. And hopefully the rain holds off and stays a little bit drier. Reporting from the Tippecanoe County 4-H Fairgrounds, Kristen Crowley, News Channel 18. And some fun events to look out for tomorrow at the fair include the Llama Show judging, the horse and pony drill team and gaming competition, and of course the Kiss a Pig competition featuring News Channel 18's own Laura Kirtley. Good luck, Laura.